My name's Lorraine Ward. On the morning of the fire, my husband had the children in the living room playing and he just put the tumble dryer on around 8am and he looked sort of around the corner where the tumble dryer was and there was two foot flames flying out of the, of the tumble dryer. And the second I came out of the bedroom and just saw how thick the smoke was and how it grabbed your breath, it was, I've never experienced anything like it. It was frightening, you couldn't have seen the hand in front of your face. The kitchen was completely destroyed. The rest of the home had been smoke logged and the contents of the home had been absolutely ruined. Lorraine didn't have any home insurance because she was in hospital at the time that the insurance was due for renewal. As such, the family ended up homeless with all their belongings destroyed and were in a catastrophic position. I'm Jill Patterson. I'm a partner in the product liability team at Lee Day. Our aim is to ensure that consumers have the same power as manufacturers, so it's putting claimants on a level playing field with big business. Just ringing to give you an update uh, on your case. These cases can take some time. Um, we have achieved settlements for people in six months, but generally the usual time is one to two years. In terms of the case for Lorraine and her family, it's about putting them back in the position they would have been in had the fire not happened as far as possible. We are looking at recovering sums for the distress and inconvenience that the family suffered from being made homeless. Um, we are looking at recovering the cost of uninsured items at their home. From start to finish, it was around six weeks in hotels before we actually got into a house. We had to get the new house out from complete scratch. It was everything from knives and forks, cutlery, baby bottles, clothes, shoes, settees, beds. The things that we lost that we can't replace were the photos. It definitely affected my, my eldest daughter the most. Uh, she was terribly panicky at any noises that sounded even remotely like a fire alarm. I think it can be quite daunting for someone to instruct solicitors um, and I therefore find it very important to have um, lots of contact with them to build up trust and I find that that helps with um, their understanding of how the case is going to run. It gives them more clarity. The communication with our solicitor Tom at Leader has been fantastic. Yeah, we've all been all right, thank you. Mommy's doing well. I was really, really worried. Tom straight away with you know a few telephone conversations allowed those fears. He explained things really, really clearly. Yeah, I've got the documents now. We have lots of resources at our fingertips um, because of our experience and the number of cases that we've dealt with. Um, so we can point people to agencies and advice services that can assist them. Um, damage caused to the property. Tom Aslister at Leardow put us in touch with a private uh, CBT uh, counsellor for our eldest daughter and within two weeks she was seen privately and went through a 12-week intensive course and that really, really helped her. We have agreed settlement with the manufacturer of the tumble dryer. We're just now waiting for any final costings and things to be ironed out. Lorraine's case is an example where a family have been put at risk. It also highlights the problems with the recall system. This is a unit that was recalled two or three months before the fire happened. The family were not aware of the recall. It goes to show that more regulation needs to be placed on manufacturers to make sure that events like this just simply do not happen again. Lee Day, with our clients, have instigated a campaign called Expect It's Safe. The point of this campaign is to raise awareness of consumer safety and protection in relation to household products. It's our belief that manufacturers should have to do everything possible to make sure that the people who've bought their products find out about the problem. I'd really like manufacturers of white goods to look at the parts that they're using, where they're sourcing them from, and also to look at the recall system 
That really does need a major overhaul. It needs something better to notify people. There were recalls out on the product that we'd bought and we didn't see any of them. I would never now put anything on at night or when I go out, I'll wait for the washing machine to finish before I leave, which I never would have done before. If we can get people to recognise that and to check and to just switch things off if they can, to save lives even, that's, that's worth everything.